So this question says, if 16 plus 4x is 10 more than 14, what is the value of 8x? So this is definitely a simplified question, but it has also some elements of translate word problem, specifically the translation part, right? So what we need to translate here is that this word is, I'll write it here, is means equals, and then more than, right, more than means plus or add or sum of. So when I simplify or translate the initial question, what I get is 16 plus 4x is 10 more than 14, all right? And technically, just so that um, I'm completely accurate, 10 more than 14 really means that you're starting off with 14 and then you're adding 10 to that. Now, it doesn't really make a difference in this question, but I would prefer to stay completely um, precisely correct on that. So then here comes the simplification part, right? So we have 16 plus 4x equals 14 plus 10, which is 24. I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides in order to isolate my x term. So I end up with 4x is equal to 8 and move up here for more space. So with the 4x equals 8, I then divide both sides by 4 and I have x is equal to 2. Now, here's the tricky part. Choice A says 2. And a lot of students will choose that answer because they did all this math and they simplified fully and they got x equals 2. But another portion or another part of this question is something that I call read the question carefully, right? So what I advise all of my students to do is when you identify what the question is, if it's anything kind of odd, like in this case, right, it doesn't ask for the value of x, it asks for the value of 8x. I just suggest you either underline it or write it down on the page, right, 8x equals question mark, and that just helps your brain to realize I'm not solving for x here, I'm actually solving for 8x. So since we know x is equal to 2, then, and we know what we're looking for 8x, I can say, well, 8 times x is just equal to 8 times 2, because x is 2, and therefore the answer is actually 16, which is choice C.